to be like having pawn stores and having the pawn shop industry be rise up because of you. It's all a little overwhelming every yeah. once in a while, but it's been real fun. It's been a great ride. And then your store has, you, you've been getting a lot of people into your store, right? Because yeah, I get of, right around 1,200 people a day in my store now. Do you really? Yeah. Wow. Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's like anything else. There's good, there's bad. You know, for some reason, whenever a pawnbroker's on television and he does something bad, he's on the news, it seems it, everyone assumes every pawnbroker does it. When a doctor's in the news and he does something bad, no one ever assumes all doctors are bad. It's just, for some reason, it's pawnbrokers. The thing is, Hollywood's vilified pawnbrokers, and it's just not right. That's right, that's right. So you really, you feel like you've helped a lot more Yeah, I mean, you know, pawnbrokers do help people out. It's a fact of life. You know, it's a lot cheaper than bouncing a check. It's a lot cheaper than a payday loan. Um, you know, it's a reasonable place to borrow a hundred bucks. Right, right. So, do people come from other parts of the country to come into your store? Yeah, I, well, I'm on television in 150, con 150 countries now. So, uh, yeah, I get it from everywhere. I'm a big hit in Peru for some reason. <laughs> Uh, no. <laughs> so you're overall now, you've been in the pawn industry how long? Uh, I, I got my pawn license in uh, 90, I've been, I, but I've been buying and selling stuff since I was a kid, so a long time. And that's, like, that's basically your, your big attraction, right, the show, is people bring in pawn? Yeah, I, the thing is, uh, my particular pawn shop takes a lot of odd things. I got a reputation for it, and... Uh, that's why those weird things come in my shop. That's why I got the show. Yeah. Well, it's a great show. Thanks. Okay, God bless you. Okay, bye-bye.